Welcome to our YouTube channel. So today I will be showing you how to play vintage video games using DOSBox. So first of all you need to install DOSBox in your PC. So let's go ahead. So here is their official website. So in the home page you will be seeing downloads menu. Go there. And in the download section you will be seeing there are many varieties, many versions of DOSBox available. As per your operating system, you can select one and you can start downloading. So since I will be using PC with Windows installed, I will be using this link. So you don't actually have to worry about this Windows 32 installer, it will work on 64 bit computers as well, so don't worry. So if you're using Windows, don't worry and click on this link and it will start downloading and you can go ahead. So since I have already installed DOSBox on my PC, I will skip this step. Alright, I hope you have installed DOSBox by now. If you face any problem with the installation, just let me know in the comment section. I will help you. So I'm actually using uh, DOSBox 0.74 version. The latest available version in the website is now 0.74-3. I'm pretty much sure the functionalities are pretty much the same. So don't worry about that. Just go to the website and download the latest available version and you're good to go. So let me open without further ado. Okay. So this is this has gone to uh, full screen. Uh, let me go to Go ahead and minimize this because then I can easily show you the steps. Okay, this how I do it. All right. So now it has been minimized. Uh, don't worry about this window. Just get rid of it and go to this one. So this is your emulator window. So in here, you have to do your mounting and calling of your files. Okay, so let me describe what is the first step in DOSBox. First of all, you need to mount a drive before proceeding with any application. You have to mount a disk. So by mounting, we will create a new disk location which will exist only in the emulator. Then we can use it as the primary location when we call upon the files which we need to access. So let me show you how to mount a file location. So first you need to type in the command mount. Sorry, I haven't selected the window. So here you go. Mount. Then you need to select a letter, English letter. In here actually you can use any letter you prefer. So I will use C and a colon. You have to add a colon, remember that. So in here, this C, it doesn't refer to the local disk C in your computer. This is just a reference that they will be using inside the emulator only. So don't worry, use any letter that you prefer. So C, colon, space, then you have to type in your file location. So if you're not sure what your file location is, let me show you. So this is the folder I have saved all my all the games so it's inside D local disk it's inside a folder called all the games so still if you're not sure what your path is just right click here sorry right click here copy address as text and open your notepad control V ok this is your path so now go to your terminal window and enter your path. So that is D column backslash all games. So here you don't have to worry about the capital letter O because uh, this is not case sensitive. Alright, now it's mounted. Okay, now you can use the mounted drive. Just type C colon and enter. There you go. Now your location is the mounted drive. 
so in the current level all these directories are accessible now say you need to play mario so to do that you need to access this mario.exe file inside the mario folder which is inside all the games so since we have mounted the drive up to this point all games here so we just need to change directories to mario so to do that our command is cd which stands for change directories so cd and type in the folder which you need to access here now you are in the mario folder so all you have to do is now just type in the file name that you need to access which is mario.exe here this one so let's type mario.exe so just enter you'll be good to go all right all right so here you go this is uh, actually super mario bros 1994 this is a uh, very popular uh, back in 90s and early 20s uh, to 2000s this was very popular among the little kids and even the people who were working in offices at the time so i hope you still remember the control keys for this game actually it's a uh, arrow keys right arrow keys to move right and face to left so control plus arrow key will move mario faster and all this jump so this is the portion that will make mario big you can crush this guy and you can crush these guys too so you can crush these bricks and yeah this is super mario bros 1994 so not actually uh, not only mario actually you can play all sort of games using this dos box so here you go so this is how to play uh, vintage games using dos box so Thanks for joining and thanks for watching the video.